Good afternoon. Okay, I have the Protect Your Safety Capsule system here today that I'd like to share with you. Um, the system is spring-loaded. It's automatic. And what it is, is that it's got a hundred um, little capsules here. And actually, we'll, I'll demonstrate in a second, but you stick the needle tip in, it comes out. This covers the needle so you can't accidentally stick yourself. But we have the first 90 capsules you can see here would be green. We've actually used a few here, so it's actually empty. Um, the next nine here are yellow to demonstrate that uh, caution, you're running low on supply. And then the very last capsule here will be red to indicate that uh, it's the last capsule and there's no more after that. And actually, once you use that one, you just simply remove the system and put another one in place. Um, to demonstrate the system, uh, safety system, I've got uh, two syringes here. I've got a 26, uh, excuse me, 27 gauge needle that represents a lot of the needles or most of the needles that are, that are used in dentistry today. And then I've got the extreme here on the small side, I've got a 5 16th uh, 30 gauge uh, used a lot in cosmetic surgery for Botox injections, etc. Um, but we'll start with the, uh, the 27 gauge here. Um, so what you would do is simply, as normal, just use the syringe, uh, whatever particular procedure you would be administering at the time. But once you're ready to dispose of the needle, um, you know, no more two-hand recap, and then you can actually actually stick yourself. When you're done, you would take it, insert it all the way down into the, the capsule system, and remove it out. Absolutely safe, completely. Then you can just put it right back on, two-hand recap. No issues or uh, possibilities of getting accidentally stuck. Now, if this is the dental needle if, that you would be familiar with, if you know the dental needle, it has a back end or a boot tin, which is just as contaminated as the front. In this particular situation, if the boot end and the back end was sticking out, you would just take this, flip it around, stick it in, and repeat the exact same process I did. Um, but we don't have one of those with us today, so you can see that we just put one on here. Um, same applies for the 30 gauge needles. Um, you know, there's not a lot of safety syringes that are out there uh, for needles in this category of size, especially on a 5 16th. Um, needle that's 30 gauge, uh, but the same um, same pattern applies here. So you just put it in all the way in, and then you pull it out on the 5 16 Absolutely safe. You can see I did that hard where it actually bent it, but you can recap it safely and put it back down. Um, and that's really about it. Uh, that's a protect your safety capsule system.